Look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. I love this guy so much. It is so beautiful. Anthurium leaves are so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love him. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa if you're new here and welcome. I'm happy you're here. Today's gonna be a quick video and we are going to be repotting my Anthurium Forgettii. Look at this gorgeous new leaf. It just unfurled not too long ago. It is Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful anthurium. Like this leaf size is huge compared to my head. I was waiting for this leaf to fully harden before I repotted him. All of my anthuriums I actually am keeping in this cabinet, greenhouse cabinet behind me. And let's just say that this Ikea cabinet is brand new for me. I've had it for a month since I put it up since moving here. And my anthuriums are absolutely loving it inside and they, I am getting so much new growth. A lot of my anthuriums, it has been um, about a year since I repotted most of them and I'm actually going to be, a lot of my anthuriums are just in these plastic nursery pots and I really want to get them out of these and put them into these clear pots that I got. These I got off Amazon, I can link them down below. And the main thing for me is I want to provide more airflow. My anthuriums, I'm watering these guys like every probably three to four days in this cabinet right now because it is so hot in there, it's like 80 degrees. And these guys are loving that temperature and I really want to be able to water these guys and just like flush them through and let them drain and I really think they'll appreciate the extra airflow that these things have that these pots have so that's what I'm going to be doing today I'm going to be gently repotting this guy and upsizing him all right so I'm going to bring you down a little bit here I have a little potting mat set up that I'm going to be dumping this guy out on have you zoomed in a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing I have my anthuriums in a chunky soil mix and that's just my preference. I feel like it's pretty chunky enough that they don't mind it. And I just have mine top dressed here with some sphagnum moss. I just like their roots to kind of be covered up at the top, their aerial roots here that are shooting off. And I honestly, I'm not like super knowledgeable in anthurium care. I have probably eight or nine anthuriums in my collection and I love them. And I probably, they didn't really start getting happy until I put them in this cabinet. Like I had an, I had an old greenhouse at my new place. You know, they did okay in there, but I didn't have the best grow light system at all. And ever since I got this cabinet set up, I have the Barina lights in there. And let's just say my anthuriums are just loving the overall light and the overall just, I don't know, just the increased temperature and everything in the cabinet. Look at those roots. I'm not really gonna be disturbing this plant too much because I just watered him the other day. The soil mix is pretty chunky. I'm honestly just going to leave him be and just fill up around. I just wanna give his roots a little bit more room to grow. I am going to be just filling this guy up with some soil and adding him in here gently. Some Sometimes I'll remove old soil depending on how long the soil has been in the pot. The mix that I use, it's like 50% soil based and then I use orchid bark and perlite and charcoal. And for my anthuriums, I probably would make this a little bit more chunky, but I'm just gonna use what I have. I think it'll be fine because majority of the mix, I'm just gonna leave in the root system already. So I'm, I'm slowly learning on how to care for anthuriums a little bit more. I honestly would love to pollinate them. I haven't had an anthurium flower for me, so if I ever get an inflorescence, I really am going to research on how to do that and how to, I don't know, I'm very interested in learning. I really don't know much about that at all. I just love the gorgeous velvety, velvety leaves on anthuriums and mine have done okay for the most part just sliding him down in here but I would really really love to learn how to properly care for them I'm going to use all this old soil because I don't think there's anything wrong with it it's pretty chunky so I I think I upsized this guy last year around this time so I really just wanted him out of that plastic 
nursery pot. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing more research on anthurium care. They're pretty thirsty plants. I don't let them get dry. So usually when I find that their soil's getting like halfway dry is when I give them more water. They are heavy feeders, which I'm learning. So when they're unfurling new, new leaves, I'm gonna try and fertilize them a little bit more. I put some slow release fertilizer into my soil and I'm also fertilizing with liquid dirt, but I really want to kind of branch out and try a different fertilizer. So we'll see. So yeah, I hope to become more knowledgeable in my future with anthurium care. My anthurium, so my cabinet is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit roughly. I would say the temperature, that's the temperature and the humidity is running. I don't have my cabinet weather stripped because the humidity in my plant room is anywhere from like 50s all the way up to like 70s some days. So it really just depends. I feel like when things are watered in there, my humidity is okay. So I don't feel the need to have it weather stripped, but we'll see. It's coming into summer here where I'm at. So I think that when winter comes, I'll see what the humidity is like. And if it drops definitely below 50s, I'll, I'll probably end up weather stripping my cabinet, but we'll see. I'm just putting this moss up around here just to cover those roots a bit. I'm really excited to get him out of that nursery pot. I have eight or nine anthuriums in my collection and I definitely want more. I really have some wish list anthuriums that I want one day. But once I kind of get the care down on these ones that I currently have, I think I'm going to invest in getting some more because I honestly love them. And I just watered him, so I don't think I'm gonna give this guy any water yet. I think I'll let this dry another day or two two and then I'll give this plant some more water. I actually might get a little bit more moss and top dress this. Let me go get some. All right, I have a little bit more moss here. I think the benefit of the moss is so these little aerial roots that are coming off off of here when they begin to grow out so they don't dry. I think they appreciate the moisture around there. I, I believe that's why I see this done. Yeah, let me back this away and I'll show you what he looks like. Look how cute it is. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. So that's the pot. I top dressed it with the moss and it's in a pretty chunky mix. So I'm gonna give this guy a day or two and then I'll give him another water because I don't want to overwater this one since I just watered him yesterday. So yeah, I didn't want to disturb him too much. The mix, the mix is pretty chunky and their roots I find grow very well and can push through the soil mix. So he looks so good. I cannot wait to get more and more growth on this guy. Ugh. I love this one so much. This is probably my favorite anthurium now just because of this new leaf that unfurled. I have another one. Let me show you another one that I'm loving because I need to upsize it as well. I'm not gonna do that in this video though. Okay, look at this one. Look at that new leaf. Oh my goodness. So this is a Crystallinum and Magnificum hybrid. And this is the newest leaf. You see the leaf size since being in the cabinet and look, it is giving me another new growth. Do you see that? So this guy is extremely happy being in this cabinet. I literally am shocked by the size of this leaf. I cannot believe it. So this one is becoming a favorite too because of that new leaf. So yeah, thank you so much for watching me repot this guy. I am really excited to repot the rest of them. So I'll probably repot some for my Instagram and yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I just, I'm really excited for my anthuriums to grow. So I'm happy I at least repotted one of them and I'll do some more here later. But yeah, I just love anthuriums. If you are a little scared of them, I can understand because you know, they really do need a certain kind of environment to thrive. If you don't have like a greenhouse or an Ikea cabinet, they'll grow and they'll do okay. But I, I don't think they're going to reach their full potential. Just in my experience with having some outside of a greenhouse and during like dry air, they're just not going to do well. So thank you so much for coming back to another video and watching me repot this guy. I'm really excited to see him grow now. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.